this cold winter day. We're trying to stay warm by yeah. the stove, aren't we? I mean, yeah, we got the oven the on. You, yeah, you know you want to turn that on today. <laughs> Connie over here, Melissa Graves from uh, from Donna's Old Town Cafe making a skillet apple pie. So if you oh. notice when we went to break earlier, uh, we threw in some brown sugar to some melted butter. Mm -hmm. And why are you doing that? Well, because we're going to turn this into a caramel glaze. Which we're almost there, and I wanted to go ahead and get it started because it takes a couple of minutes to get this down. This is not your typical way of making caramel, no, right? No. You uh, say well, caramel, I say caramel, sorry. Caramel, caramel. Potato, uh, potato. Well, this is a recipe to make it, and I told you I never could get it to turn out in any other pan that I've ever owned, but when I did it in the iron skillet yesterday, I said, oh, this is this Starting is amazing. Starting to come together, yeah. Yeah, and so what we've got over here is I, I've got, I guess this is probably about six cups of apples that I've peeled, and I did put them in a little bit of lemon juice so that they didn't turn brown on the trip up here. And then I'm gonna put about three quarters of a cup of sugar in there. Of and course. I've got to have a good teaspoon of cinnamon. And you can put a um, teaspoon of um, cornstarch in here too. And that'll help, it'll help, help thicken, thicken it up. It, it'll help thicken it up, yeah. which I mean, it's fine if we don't. Okay, so now in this, what we did was we put a half a cup of butter and a cup of brown sugar. And we are getting there now. And so you're just gonna get, stand back with your, we're gonna I put- I got a suit on here. We're gonna put that in the skillet <laughs> until it gets this nice, it'll just start foaming up basically into a real bubbly texture. So getting thick and yeah. stuff like that. And so I'm gonna let it keep doing while I unroll this. So I've got a package of those prepackaged pie shells from the store. And if you don't want to do that, of course you can make your own. Yeah, well, you could, but my mom told me I wasn't allowed to make any more pie crust. Oh, <laughs> uh, what did you do? It was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> How can you ruin a pie? I ruined the pie crust that week. So okay, well, we're going we go. we're we're right to put the pie crust. So you literally just put the pie crust right on top of that? On top of it, yes. Yeah, so oh. the, one of my customers brought me this recipe, and I've been done to make it for a long time. And then the apples. So then we're going to take these apples. I'm going to just lightly stir them up a little bit. I probably could have brought a bigger bowl. Connie, how are you? Okay, All good. All right. And then... Look at this. This is awesome. I want to turn this off. This is off. not your typical nope. way of making an mm -mm. apple pie. And so I've got the oven on 350, and we're okay. going to put this top crust on. And what's going to happen, if you look over at the other one, you can see Whoa. all that good caramel. Is You're going to score that too, right? Yes, I am. Okay, of course you would. And, and I would if I had a brush. Let me just do for TV's sake. I've got my egg white here. Make it nice and brown. Nice and brown. And then uh, about a couple tablespoons of sugar on the top. And then we're going to do a little slit in the middle, and we're going to bake this uh, for about an hour, hour and ten minutes, depending on your oven, and then you get this. this beautiful. And the caramel that Isn't you made is like bubbling over the edges. It's gorgeous. And it looks it absolutely gorgeous. amazing. So I made this out on the bar today, too, so you can go in and sample it. Cool. And uh, don't forget to call us, because we are booking for our big Valentine's deal that we got coming up. All right. It's almost Valentine's Day. Yeah, we can like make you guys we can make you guys look so good with zero effort. <laughs> of course. We well, got, so thank you so much. Thank of course, you. we're gonna have the recipe for this on our website, so make sure you check that out. Mm -hmm. And we sure hope everything's good. Thank you. Connie, thanks for joining us. At least you so got warmed up. Here. She's you know smiling, it's great. All right, 1242, and uh, we're gonna take a quick break. The buzz, and again, another check of your forecast is coming up next.